Hey everyone, welcome to Heavy Metal. Out here on the range on this beautiful day, and I have an awesome, awesome pistol that I recently got, and I'm dying to pull the trigger on it. Haven't shot it yet. I'm sure y'all seen the title. This is the Beretta 92 FS. This is a 20 year old pistol. Look how great a shape this thing is. This is the military model with the lanyard on it. Has the white dot sights, which y'all know I do like. Uh, this thing has a hammer release, as you can see right there. And it is single and double action. Yes. Nice trigger on that thing. Nice trigger. Uh, slide lock is on this side, and so is your takedown. This thing just a lot of people say the handle's too big for them. I mean, I'm used to shooting my Desert Eagle, so this right here feels really nice to me. I like it. Love them sights. Hopefully I can hit something with it. But this is one of them that I've wanted in my collection for a long, long time, and I finally got it. Uh, yeah, just, like I say, just thrilled to have the thing. Uh, it came with two mags. It says 10 on it, so I assume they're 10 round mags. Uh, one of these mags is already loaded. I'm not sure what kind of ammo is in it, but we're going to try it. And then I brought out some uh, 115 grain full metal jacket tall ammo. Then I still got some of this uh, X Force uh, 124 grain full metal jacket. So we'll run some of these through and just see what we think about her. See if I can hit and how much I like shooting this. I think I'm going to like it a lot. I have a uh, reactive target out there, one of the Firebird 65s. You see right there in Kenny's chest. Hopefully I can hit that. You see I put the uh, little short arm man back up here target. And if I shoot right through that hole, there's shaving cream there. But first we're going to run out there to uh, 20 yards. Y'all can see that okay? Should be able to. We, uh, Casey and I come out here and done a bunch of cleanup and weed eating and such, so we're getting the range back into a nicer looking shape and we're going to continue to work on it so that we can make it just a lot nicer than what it is. Alright, she chambers. She's off safety. Let's go out there to 20 and just see if we can even handle this thing. sure where my point of aim is on it, that's for sure. Uh, I'm going to go up here. If you can see to the left, I've got an old uh, target up there. I'm going to shoot for that guy's left hand center to see where my hold is on it. Where my hold is, it is shooting low. So let's try this again. Yeah, it looks like it's shooting a shade low, right? Um, let's see here. Let's go on out there to uh, 50 yards. Out of ammo. Alright, so shooting a little low, right? Let's try some of this tall ammo in it. Whatever that stuff was, it shot fine. And guys, that could be me. I could be jerking that trigger a little bit. Uh, let me load these up and I'll slow down the shade and check it out. Uh, I like the trigger, I like the uh, pistol. I'd say it feels good in my hand, or if it's just a 9mm, you know, you know, bad recoil or anything like that. 
how the mag loads pretty easy. You know, I got a mag loader, I should be using it. Yeah, I don't know how many that was, but that's more than I had in there to begin with. The slide lock works really, really well. Get my hand positioned correctly. Make sure I'm not jerking on that trigger. I think I was pulling trigger a little bit. It does shoot just a shade low. There we go, safety. His on gun is pointed down range. Let's see if we can get this Firebird target and that shaving cream. Yeah, it'd be cool if I could hit both of them. So you gotta get used to the point of aim on this thing. Seems to be shooting a shade low. Let's go for the Firebird target first. That was awesome. Yeah, them new 65 targets got a lot more oomph to them than the older ones. Hey, I think I uh, know how to shoot this thing, maybe. Look at poor old Kenny. We smoked him up bad. He'll be all right. We'll repaint him later. What about a shaving cream? It'll be a cool shot right through there if we can get it. Yeah, I think I've got this down pat now. Oh man, his arm's all messed up. Hi, Kenny. I got that sight down pat, and I got that trigger figured out. That is an awesome shooting pistol. Let's try some of this uh, 124 grain. Let's see how it likes that. Tell you what, guys, where's that loader at? I've been having a lot of trouble with my hands lately, so uh, I need to try to take it easy as I can on them. If I remember how to use the loader. Y'all believe I forgot how to use a loader? Which, oh, okay. Duh. It's, it was on lock. Yeah, that's a lot better. So this 124 grain stuff, I've shot this before, and uh, it seems to do pretty well. I don't know why I don't use that loader more often. Honestly, I forget about it. Alright, there's a full mag. Let's try this again. Let's reach on out there if we can. Oh, yeah. That was a hunt of. 50 yards. Go to 55 yards. Yeah, this right here is a shooter, guys. No doubt about it. All right. Guy with all the short arms. Oh, that's it. Got a little trigger happy there. But that is awesome. Well guys, i got to say, I'm super thrilled to have this in my collection. Once I got that sight picture down, and got the feel for that trigger, then uh, I was hitting very well with it. 
uh, on them 124 grains, got a little trigger happy there. Made me a couple times, but I was hitting really well. And I mean, I stretched out there at 50 and 55 yards. You know, first shot at 55 yards and dinged it. You can't ask for better than that. I can see why the military, you know, used this for so long and everybody give it good reviews. Yep, I always wanted one and now I got one and I'm thrilled about it. Well, everyone, I appreciate you watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the Beretta 92FS. I know I did, and I will enjoy it a lot more to come. I'm not going to shoot this one to death. Well, I say that now, but who knows. But it's so new looking and pretty, I'd like to keep it in a great shape. But I will take care of it. Well, everyone, if you would, throw me down some comments. Uh, if you're able, hit us up on Patreon and or the super thanks below. And please... Like, share, and subscribe. Get these videos out there. Tell all your friends. Tell all your non-friends. Tell your cat. Tell your dog. Tell your bird. A squirrel running down the power line. Tell him about it too. We'd sure appreciate it. Well, everyone, thanks a bunch. Until the next one, we hope that all of y'all have a fantastic day.